if he falls somewhere in that range and you're getting a, a two-way center with size, skating, competitiveness, who's going to give you 40 to whatever number points, you're really happy. How much are you paying on the open market to get a player like that? It's whatever right, you yeah. just gave Andrew Kopp. Um, and Andrew Kopp's you know, career high was like 50 points, right? To be able to get a guy who has the upside to be a lot more than that, to get him on an ELC, to get him in the draft, like that's a really useful piece. And that's why guys like this go where they do in the draft. This is what Corey and I talked about is – they're the pieces that are so hard to find. You can usually find a guy who just brings you scoring, right? You can find Andreas Athanasiu. You can find Mike Hoffman, but you can always get him because it's never that hard to find a, a guy who just kind of scores from the wing. When you talk about a guy with a complete game who can do a lot of different things, who can help you win um, with offense and defense. I think when you, when you say two ways, sometimes people think that you just mean defense. I mean both. Nate Danielson has both, and I think that's what makes him a really valuable player. 